All right, boys, you guys see the title. Uh, this, honestly, I don't, I never really mind losing. Like, I'm always, I'm usually pretty decent about losing, but uh, this is a game that I lost against uh, somebody who I'm, I'm unfamiliar with who this person is, uh, the Cole Fuchner. Um, and first and foremost, good game to him, but it's a game that I felt like after, you know, a tournament where I beat Young Kiv, I felt like I was playing pretty good. This is a game I feel like I should have won. Um, I was, I, I was definitely the favorite in this game, which doesn't happen often. Um, and I felt like my road to getting to the finals, to making the live event, wasn't crazy hard in terms of what it could be, right? Um, that's how I genuinely felt about it, and that's on me for for thinking that I shouldn't have. But we're gonna break down this game uh, and really get into exactly how I feel like I lost and what kind of went wrong. So first and foremost, we're in Gunway off Chris Pats, also known as U Trips. Uh, formation inside the Patriots playbook along with the Raiders playbook. I've been in this at this point for about a week So I'm new to the formation. I think it's a really good formation, but I'm a little new to it All right now the, so just keep that in mind I'm gonna be all willing to gun tight a little bit uh, tight slots and two trips tight end just a little bit now on Defense he's actually running a defense. That I haven't seen in a few years that Shouldn't be good. It shouldn't be um He's in 3-4 odd show blitz, where basically he's trying to send pressure um, like this pretty consistently, okay? Now, what's interesting is that here on these outsides, he has flat zone KOs, okay? And then he has this guy. He has some sort of zone KOs on these uh, safeties as well. But these flat zone KOs are pretty important. So there's a couple ways to try to beat this style of defense. I'm going to try to five out it, put five routes in the field, and to beat it. Um, and by doing this, I'm going to attack the field pretty horizontally. See an out route, streak, 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 uh, wheel route. And so I'm thinking, okay, this should be a pretty good route combo to at least see what he's doing immediately. And immediately I snap throw my halfback. And he actually makes a really good adjustment here. Very first play, some I was not expecting. I'm thinking he's sending an all-out blitz right here. He actually mans up this outside linebacker onto, or actually the middle linebacker onto the wheel and able to get me for a loss of about one right there, which I'm like, okay, good, like, Great, good adjustment. Um, see what we can do. Also note that he had his pressure come in off the edge right there. So even while manning up somebody onto the halfback, he was able to get pressure in, which is a good good blitz by him. Uh, nothing you could take. Nothing I can say to take uh, take away from that. Right here, going with a similar uh, route combo, five out. Uh, trying to attack vertical. Have a hitch right here to uh, do an attack in this area. Vertical, 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 flat. Good route combo. Again, we go with the quick throw wheel, thinking that. So, with this wheel, a lot of times what you'll see is this wheel gets very horizontal. This is not a hot route wheel. This comes stock on the play. Typically, what I've always seen this wheel be able to do is outflank the defender, right? Be able to hit it right here and be able to hit the corner. Um, be able to hit the edge if you throw it right here. This middle linebacker is getting out here very fast. And in addition to that, I was getting screamed at with the five-man rush. Uh, and we have an inaccurate throw right here. I had the hitch open, though. Uh, but my immediate read was to the wheel. I thought I had, I thought I outflanked him with the wheel because that man up was coming from the inside. Uh, getting an accurate throw, even if it was accurate, would have been a tackle for a one yard gain, if that, right? So I'm like, okay. A third and 11 here. Obviously, uh, need to get some yards going. We're going to audible to Trips tight end. Uh, be able to go to a, kind of a money play that I like quite a bit going to, I believe this should be PA slot corner. Let's see if that's what we call. Uh, end up flipping it, getting our Trips tight end to the wide side. We go verticals. Uh, right here instead, which is a good call against this style of defense. We see we have a little bit of outflank on the right side. And again, we get screamed at, dude. Absolutely buzzed at. And this wasn't even so much... Uh, let's watch this back. Let's watch if I have bad pocket here or if I'm retreating. Cause Yeah, so... I It'd be hard to get this step up and for this guy to make the block. I could, but when I see my halfback immediately go to the left here, I'm thinking I'm not going to block him. And we don't get any sort of blocking right here. So our first drive's done. Uh, bad offense by me. Definitely could have been better offense by me. Just certainly could have. Let's go with his first drive uh, here on uh, for him on offense. Now, he's in the formation gun tight doubles. I don't think it's great. And here I'm like, okay, I don't know. I don't think this guy's going to be a very prolific offensive player. Immediately, he's able to get this corner out open, beating my man coverage. He overthrows it. I'm like, okay, I... I am making, an, so I'm individually shading my man coverage on him to the outside, which when you individually shade 
a wide receiver to the outside, typically that's going to take away the corner routes. And that's what I'm doing on this wide receiver. I end up doing it again right here saying, okay, is that a route that can actually beat me in coverage? Kind of consistently. And you see here, with deep out on him, which he has on him, it is. I'm like, oh, geez. Because that's tight coverage, but he has deep out. So he's able to, if he gets his hands on it, he's able to come down with it. I'm like, okay. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I even adjusted that totally yet. Yeah, I do. I go cover two right here. Um, and we do from, if you watch our Young Kiff breakdown, we're going with the double Mabel, 30 yards back here. And we have five yards right here. 30, five, and two deep halves. Right, I'm like, okay. Uh, we'll do this, take that away. End up going with that. He ends up able to hit this out route for a gain of eight. And he's moving the ball pretty decent. Uh, I'm not adjusting. I'm making adjustments and they're not working, is more so. I'm adjusting how in my head I want to. Um, they're just not working, really. Uh, which is frustrating and a little scary at this point. But I'm still okay. I still feel okay. Uh, I still feel okay. Right here, same play. And throwing the out route. Hit him this time. Uh, able to force a third and two. Third and two here. Going with a similar style of defense. We're going to be setting pressure while defending these flats pretty hard. You're going to see him come down hard to the flat. Pretty much, he had a streak for a touchdown. But mind you, he hadn't ran that route combo the entire... He, like, he hadn't shown that he was like he had any other plays from that. Which I should have assumed he did. But we set pressure where I didn't think he'd have time for a streak to develop. Good adjustment by me. Worked out pretty well. Um, you're going to leave routes open when you send heavy pressure like that. And we did, but it worked out. I'm totally cool with that. Fourth and two. Huge play right here. Go with this double Mabel style look again, where we have zero, zeros on the outside, 25's here, zero, 25. Just gotta take away the middle of the field, my user. And he snap throws a streak, able to get it. Good adjustment by him. I need to make better adjustments right there, Kai. I knew, I, I should have known he was gonna go back to that, I guess. I should have known he was gonna go back to that. First to go for the five, we're actually just gonna skip ahead right here, just runs the ball in, nothing. I'm, there's no reason to really show that. I'm not, I can really break down, but back in offense, I'm still the mindset of, okay, this isn't a great defense. I should be able to move the ball on this. I think I should be able to move the ball on it. We're gonna audible trips tight end here. Uh, what do I go with? I'm surprised if I don't go with PA slot corner yet, but let's see if I do. So I end up going with a pretty basic route. Come on, let's see if I show my player out one more time. Um, show my player out one more time. Yeah, so really basic route combo. When you're setting, up, when you're going against a heavy blitz like this, you can actually dump things down quite a bit. Where you see this defender, I'm trying to isolate this defender on the outside. We have a fade going up, and we have a flat, right? So depending on what this defender does, if he if he drops back, we hit the flat. If he goes forward, we hit the fade. It's a pretty basic route combo. Um, it actually, this is actually uh, the style the style of offense I love running uh, that you haven't really been able to do in a couple years in Madden since I ran a slot in Madden 20. Right here as well, we have, a, we have a streak where basically if this defender does anything besides drop back, we're gonna be able to lob Megatron uh, for a streak, all right? Additionally, we also have the Titan on a drag. You do a few things here. Titan drag is if his user immediately vacates hard, able to hit that drag underneath. And right here, he, he bails. We're able to hit this flat. Oh, flat hits me. That's, that's, when mentally I start to derail a little bit. I'm like, oh no. And I should, I really should just go right back to that play. Um, but I don't. And that's a mistake by me. I could run that exact same play from U-Trips. Let's see what I do here. Uh, but, but really though, that's where I, I can look back and be like, yeah, that's where mentally I started to derail. I should just go streak, flat, streak. Uh, let's see what I do though. We have streak. We're gonna go motion slant, which just, it's a bad play call. Oh, we go, uh, we actually motion block him. And we have this fade, or this, or this streak rather, tight end. Perfect, that's what I wanted. That's, a, that's an example of exactly how I wanna play offense against a style of defense, right? Let's see if I go back to the flat. Now I'm starting to feel myself again. Let's see if we go flat, streak, streak. Let's see, flat, streak, streak. And this is fundamentally a really good route combo against a compressed defense, right? Yes, so all of these defenders in here are basically useless, right? We have seven defenders on the field right now. Um, or rather, yeah, seven that to me are kind of useless. We're just isolating, right? Boom, have this flat, see he bails, have the flat. Throw the flat. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Tough to look, tough to, tough to watch back actually. I, I know mentally I need to be, I, I'm, I'm doing the right things, I'm making the right reads and it's just not working out for me really, which is uh, un, unfortunate for sure. Let's see what we go to, second to 10. That's where it's like, ah, 
So immediately, you gotta think at this point in the game, I've hit my running back and that wheel a couple of times for a loss of one and one was a under throw or was a bad throw. Now we tried taking the flats to the other side multiple times and we've had bad throws. Let's see right here, second to 10. Go right back to the same route combo. Um, go with the flat right there. Good gain to Michael Crabtree. Uh, third four. I end up putting in Michael Crabtree there. Uh, I, I know that big receivers will have the ball bounce off them a little bit more often. So we're going Michael Crabtree in that slot now. Third and four. I'm surprised I actually just don't go right back to the same route combo. I actually think I should. Um, I really think I should because he can't defend it. We'll see what we do here, though. We're going with a similar route combo. We have this wheel, which we can snap throw. Boom. Wheel. Boom. Good. Crabtree. Now we're moving. Now we get some things going. We're starting to get into the red zone here. Four for seven. 54 yards. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a lot uh, happier with myself, actually. I'm actually, looking back, I'm happy that I stuck with the game plan. Uh, the tech style defense guy easily could have gotten too far away from it. Right here. Similar, similar idea. Um, just trying to spread the field out. He just doesn't have the personnel. Uh, let's go. We go quick throw B. Good. Love that. Love that, actually. Great route combos. When they want to compress the defense, especially in zone, you're able to spread the field out very, very easily. You see me able to do that consistently here. Second and one on the nine. This is where you almost, you have to start having more set plays from here. And I am underprepared, truthfully. And I don't have good plays from here. Um, so that's an example of me doing what I try to do the first couple of plays uh, with this halfback wheel where you're able to outflank uh, the man up from the interior. You see right here, able to hit Dickerson quick. And this guy is just a step behind and we're able to hit that edge. Great play. Still feeling really good. Still feeling really good. Let's go first and goal. Going to trips tight end right here. We're going to be running halfback quick base, I believe. Just trying to get a, kind of a cheap touchdown. It's so hard to pass the ball right here, man. It's so hard to pass the ball. Let's see. Get nothing right here. We're going to go. It's a third and goal now. It's kind of a big play. Uh, let's see what we can get. I think we're going to go flat. Yeah, flat double streaks. Let's see. Have what we do. Oh, we're going for a high ball uh, right here to see if we can get an ag to Carmichael. No good. Unfortunate. Fourth and goal. Uh, maybe I, maybe the smart the smart thing to do here maybe is to kick. Um, probably is to kick. I actually had a go instead for the quick flat throw catch it end up dropping it don't get the first down anyways and you know i, I actually didn't mind going for it there i remember looking back and thinking about now he's at his own five i thought i'd get some yards right there so the reason i clicked through that flat was worst case scenario to me was i catch it and he's at his own two or one he's at the five here i'm like okay i still get a stop breaks a run immediately <laughs> Gets him, gets him out of, you know, a potential safety situation. And that was kind of frustrating. Second and seven for him right here. He's in that tight doubles type uh, style look again. Let's see what we have here. Probably going to be a corner out right here. We're just going to man covered across the board. And I think it's that deep out. Well, actually right there, it kind of tipped off of him, which is a little unfortunate for him. Third and seven. How's he pick this up? We go. Yeah, we're going deep flat so anything to the corners should be done and he just quick throws the seam right there great great throw great throw good good quick hit uh he's doing a good job tacking my double mabel honestly at this point he's playing pretty well he's playing pretty well uh i gotta do a better job in the red zone and on my first drive i just can't let i can't get stopped like that on my first drive this is where things get a little frustrating for me right there I mean, I don't really even know what to say. So we're going with the double Mabel look again, right? We have this guy in a deep flat right here. He's in a cloud flat. These get to the sidelines and he just doesn't get to the sideline. And at this point, I'm like, okay, like this is where I start to get frustrated. I'm like, I, cause I don't know. Like, I don't really ever see this formation. So I'm like, I don't know if this is like a kind of a glitched corner route. Um, I don't know, because that would be the defense I would go to to stop that. And I would worry about the seams myself. If he wants to hit me up the seams, that's okay. But when that happens, it's like, okay. Now I'm trying to back off this corner on him to see if maybe that will play a little bit better. Ends up going with a different route combo right here. He, I, he thought I was going to be a Della Mabel. I was in man, get a save, or get a sack, second to 16. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, we're chilling. Not wrong. Um, we have, we have a chance here. Uh, his ball at half though. So we're in a, you know, our backs against the wall a little bit. He's gonna go with the quick throw to Murray and he's able to cut up field. Good read by him. Good read. Can't take anything. Uh, can't take anything away from that, obviously ever. 
It was just a good read. Uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, you see I'm still backing off that corner on him. Just trying to... Uh, and I have to take care of that uh, halfback myself a little bit more. Corner out is bagged. Deep out. Now I've done a few things I think will stop that corner out. And nothing's worked yet. And it's not that there's no way to stop it. The way I would stop it, I do it later in the game, is baseline press cover four, for example, or bracketing it. Um, but it's it, it's frustrating because to this point, every single thing I've done is also, like there's a bunch of different ways you can stop corner outs in this game. It's not just one specific way you have to. Um, and all the ways I've tried that would usually stop a corner route, you know, individually shading, putting the cloud, double Mabel, um, hasn't worked yet. And I'm giving up huge drives and it's, it, it, it's, uh, it snowballs, for example, when you're doing, when you can't figure out how to stop it and you can't move the ball on offense. You know, I've gotten one good drive that ended up getting no points right here. This was frustrating man coverage across the board. I go to get what I'm mad about here is that he's throwing the ball right here and my users right here. Now, mind you, I am going to the halfback. That's why I end up going out a little bit too far. But this guy is not only is he manned up, but my user, like, I could have lurked that pretty easily. That was, that's what you call a guest pass. And it's not me trying to discredit him, but it is a guest pass. You know, he doesn't know. You don't know. At this point, where he hits this, I'm actually, like, he's throwing it right to me. It's just I am, I predetermined myself that I'm going down to the halfback. Uh, so it's a guest pass by him. Just works out for him. Ah! Sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. All right, we're on offense here, boys. First to 10, let's see what we go to. Hit as we throw, incomplete. Second to 10 right here, going for an ag. Now see if we can get that going. We do get it going, actually. One of our first big plays, and now we're in business. Okay, we hurry up, we're gonna go quick audible to trips tight end. Arguably, maybe I call a timeout right there, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we go with the flat, flat streak streak. Uh, more likely than not, we will. We go, okay, we go smoke screen streak. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to put... I'm afraid to put Carmichael on a flat now because he's dropped it so many times. So, same idea. Able to hit Crabtree. I should have just booked it out of bounds. I thought he'd click on. I thought I'd be able to get uh, more yardage by cutting it in. Eh, whatever. I can't hate that decision. That's not a, that's not a you know bad decision by any means, in my opinion. So, whatever. Um, let's see what we do right here. I believe... I believe that we're going to be looking for this wheel right here. Not sure. Yeah, we go with Max Pro setup, actually. Don't hate this. Loon just to pick up the Blitz and get a big play. Yeah. Uh, which is a totally cool play call. We actually pick up the Blitz. Have a one-on-one. -on -one. Don't love the throw, actually, but I just don't think anything else was open. So I think I just forced it. Let me see if anything else was open right here. Post slant. Fine route combo. I had, uh, nah, I didn't have that much time. Guys coming in. I could have highballed it, I guess. Yeah. Don't hate it. One-on-one -on -one this game. It ends up being two, but it's fine. Third and four. Yeah, I don't hate that play call at all. Same thing, we're going to try Max Pro in this. And we have the corner out right here. We get it. Crabtree. And now we're down to the 12-yard line right here. See what we do. Just a bunch of vertical routes right here. Trying to get something. End up rolling out with Lamar. Getting good yardage right there. Don't want to force anything. Second and one. What do we do? We're just going to quick throw Eric Dickerson. We are, right? Eric Dickerson, quick throw. Ah, not able to fight into the end zone, though. First and goal. Looking for something. Throw it. Knocked out. Ah, I know what happens here. I get super lucky. I get crazy lucky. Third and goal. I get crazy lucky right here. Third and goal. I thought he was going to super hard jet out. I'm, I, I just make a bad read. Straight up. I get super lucky. I catch this. Short in. Activates, but super lucky. I, I, I missed every read. And it's just I'm flustered and I'm playing bad. End of the half, nothing happens. His ball, we have a chance. So I mean, right there, right? We get lucky. We have a chance. We're down seven, and now we're going with the with the baseline press cover four drop. Um, yeah, should take away that corner out. First play ends up trying to hit quick throw the seam. We get lucky. We get crazy lucky. We're right back in the game. Ball went through his hands. We pick it. No idea how that happened. No idea how that happened. Super lucky. This is our chance to fight back in the game. I know it. I played bad early. I've gotten a little unfortunate early, but get a lucky touchdown, um, and we get a lucky pick right there. Here's our chance back into the game right now. Let's see what we go to. I should have went back to the flat flat streak streak. Uh, I end up going with the max pro setup. I actually don't hate the setup at all. Uh, right, this is a good setup. 
Especially if you can block the Blitz. Let's see. Don't block the Blitz. Halfback does nothing. Ah. Oh. This, this, this is stupid. This seven, I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five on seven. The halfback just isn't. I mean, you can make, you can, if you want to say something in the comments about, oh, you got to step up right there, the halfback has to make contact. Like, the reason I'm, like, no, the halfback has to make contact. It's really bad. That's really bad. Second 18. Oh, we go hurry up right here. A frustrating thing against this defense is that I'm no longer on a hash. Never a good thing. Let's see what route combo we go to right here. Uh, I don't think I like this route. I think I got hurried. And do I take a delay? I might take a delay, actually. Yeah, I take a delay. I don't even know how it's possible. I hurried up. Oh, uh, I don't even know how that could have happened. But now we're on a second and 23. And against the style of defense, you have to check down underneath. Or you have to be, you know, quick throws looking for rack opportunities. So what do we do? Uh, looking for a quick throw to the running back. His boys just make, do a good job rallying. Seven, cut, cut the cut the yardage down seven yards, third and 16 here. We're going with another hurry up opportunity right now. Um, and we're going with the max pro it up here. Same thing we did earlier. Right quarter out, probably gonna be a streak on the far right. Let's see if we do that. Streak or a fade. And then probably a in route or something for max. Running out of time, yeah, a slant. No wrong with this route combo, just gotta block. Just have to block. And again, I mean, the this isn't a pocket presence thing. The half just... Ah, dang it, man. This is uh, like, there's just, I mean, right here, there's no pocket that I, like, if, no, it's, it's, you're, you're cooked. And I'm max pro, so I don't have that many routes. And I have stuff, uh, what's frustrating is I have this open, man. Doesn't matter. Fourth and 16 from the 47. I'm, I'm about to waste a really good opportunity to, you know, I got lucky to get the ball back even. You know, so I'm about to waste this opportunity, so I'm going for it. I'm being really dumb. Being really, really dumb, and I'm going for it. This is a really bad play call. I, Especially against somebody who I don't think is that good on offense. I just haven't been able to get a stop. It's ironic saying it because I haven't been able to get a stop, but it, I, I don't feel like he's great in offense. He's just ran one one or two plays at a pretty high clip against me that I think I, sh I should be good enough to stop. So we're going max pro, fourth and 16. Fade, corner, post. Get really, really good pocket there. Able to hit the corner out. Keep our life. Keep, 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 stay alive, right? Let's go. Let's watch that back right here. I won't pause it or anything. Watch the pocket presence. Pocket presence is really good, actually. And we're able to get that corner out open. Really, really, really good to just stay alive. Really good to stay alive. But, I mean, just an absolutely abysmal offensive performance so far by me and, uh, and the team, honestly. Drop passes, miss blocking assignments, and me playing bad. First to 10 though, new life, still new life, I'm staying alive. And that's how, that's how good, play, like, if you're playing bad as a good player, you just have to find a way to stay alive, to keep yourself in the game. Because eventually, you know, if you feel like you're playing someone who's not as good and you feel like you're a good player, um, you just have to stay alive. Because eventually, you know, you will start to click. And if they're not a good player, they'll start to fall apart in, 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 in uh, you know, in a ideal world. That's just how, you know, it'd be. This guy's playing very well to this point though. Go with the quick throw flat, got it. Cool little four or five yard gain, second of five. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, we're feeling good. Um, We have a shot, we have an opportunity right here. Let's go, second of five, quick throw flat. Again, that scat wheel. Not getting as many yards out of that as I want, man. Not getting as many yards out of that I want. Third and three, going again with the quick throw flat, quick throw wheel. <laughs> That's insane. Um, So it's a pick six. Uh, we have a wheel route. We have a fade. The idea here, uh, the ver very, you know, this is a very standard route combo. Probably should go with a flat instead of a wheel right here. But these wheels, if you watch any, um, any comp guys, this wheel is really good as a quick throw. Basically, isolating this guy right here. If he, if this corner drops, we throw a wheel. If he comes up, we throw the streak. Right, pretty basic. Same idea as before. Um, we're gonna see right here. Let's see if I can actually. So he dropped, and let me actually get rid of this. Uh, yeah, so let's go. Let's go back really fast, boys, and uh, get back into draw. Cool. So he ends up dropping. He's dropping. So we quick throw the flat. Just makes a crazy play on the ball. I 
I, looking back on it, like, I don't really think it's a bad read. He, I mean, he's dropping. It, it, but what I believe it was was a five-yard flat. And so, so this is what I think happens, is I think this is a five-yard flat right here, um, not a deep zone. And so because he has flat zone KO, he makes a crazy play on the ball. I believe that's what it is. Flat zone doesn't light up, so I'm not 100%, but I believe that's what happens. Down 14 now. Oh, not over, obviously, but really, really bad. And this guy's lit up now on the outside, which puts us in a, in a worse situation, obviously, trying to do anything. We got to move the ball faster. Right, got to move the ball faster. Go with a good route combo here. Go with a good route combo right here. And you can tell I'm flustered. Uh, throwing that over the middle when I had B wide open. You can you tell. I'm in a bad spot mentally in terms of being focused on winning this game. Really, really bad. Go with the Mac Pro setup right here. If we can block it, something should get open. Uh, it's just all about blocking right here, right? Let's see if we can actually get the blocking to happen right here. Good blocking, good blocking, good blocking. Gonna have X able to throw X, needed that. Gonna have to push to get out of bounds right here. Good, smart decision by me. Gonna be able to save us some time. Now we're moving Crabtree again. We're getting out of bounds. Even in the third quarter, right, that clock will stop and, uh, and, and it will only resume once you pick a play. So you can kind of burn some time like that. Third and six, let's see what happens right here. Oh man, this sucks looking back on it, man. It just sucks. He, he played, I think he played great. He played great, but I think it shows a lot of unpreparedness by me. Uh, which which definitely would be true, I think. Unpreparedness and just playing bad in a game that I can't afford to play bad in, right? You just can't, I, I can't afford to play bad. Going back to the same route combo, Max Pro. Let's see, we get the blocking this time and we get shedded. Ah, uh, happens outside. Yeah, it's just shedded right here, right? Let's see. It's crazy. I just, yeah, he just gets killed. Yeah. Let's see, fourth and 16. All one over. Let's see what we do. Go back to the same play call. Able to pick it up. I mean, I'm hanging on by a thread. That's the thing, dude. Like, I'm giving myself chances by just hanging on by a freaking thread, boys. Ah, oh, man. First to 10. Got the running back over the middle this time. Good route combo. Big fan of that. We're in the red zone. We have a freaking chance still. Hanging on by just a miracle, dude. By a miracle, we're still in this game. And, and it's actually a winnable game, right? We score, we have three timeouts. It's a game we can win. We just have to score here. Quick throw. This is stupid. You can say he got cheated by all the tips. I mean, this is an open throw. First to goal. This is open. It's right above right above the linebacker's head. It's a linebacker right here. He's not going to animate. He's in a hook curl. It's a streak. I get a high throw. Poor accuracy. Bullet pass. Goes to the sidelines. Incomplete. Okay. That's his under pressure activating. Okay. Cool. Um, I get the defense he's running. He's not putting any deep blues on the field. He's saying I have to attack above the deep blues, which is or above his yellows and blues and his uh, cloud flats, which is fair. So I say, okay, I'm going to go right back to that same play. Right? A, this is a open throw. This guy is a linebacker. He will not get to this. This is open. Throw it. And accurate again. Awesome. Okay. Gonna go back to the same throw. Gonna go back to the same throw right here. I mean, it's it, it's open. Um, I just have to hope Lamar can make the throw. Lamar really showing how he's uh, he's a running back, I guess, right here. All right, same, same thing. Same thing. Uh, trying to spread the field horizontally in case he, he calls a different defense, right? Because this wheel is not a bad throw here. A is open again. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I'm not totally sure what to do there. I go on aggressive, obviously. Fourth and goal, nothing to lose. It's just three straight inaccurates is actually unheard of for me. I, I've, never, I've never seen three straight inaccurates. Right, it's one thing to get a bad animation, but three straight accurates is crazy. Fourth and goal, I'm, I'm I don't know what to do. Uh, I want to go back to the A, but it's been it's been inaccurate three times in a row, and I have to assume at this point he has defense, for, like he's putting defense on the field for it. I assume for the goal from the five, I'm clueless. I don't know what to do. Clock running down. I think we just snap it. I'm gonna go with a quick throw, hoping to break a tackle or something. But I guess that, that that's a terrible play call. I'll admit, obviously, I mean that's obviously a really bad play call, but I'm I'm still mentally. 
I don't know, and I just ran out of time. Yeah. Um, fourth and eight, or actually, we end up getting a stop. What happens here? End up getting a stop, and we're still, I mean, what's crazy is that we're still in this game. We're still in it. He burns a timeout. Yeah, we just got screamed at the play before, huh? First and 10. Look, I mean, we gotta go vertical, obviously. We just get screamed at off the right edge. I mean, just no blocking from the boys. No blocking at all. It's, uh, that, that's, what, that's what's so funny here, dude, is that like, I kept it still a game here. So we still have life. I just have to find a way to score. Mind you, I've now had three red zone trips and only seven points to show for it as well. You just can't do that. You just can't do it. Looking for B. Possibly, possibly overthrown. Uh, third and 20. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to skip ahead. I already know what happens. Right, third and 20. Just looking for something. Quick throw, knocked out. And obviously here I'm just taking shots, right? There's not much, not many good plays here you can really call. Nope, just three streaks now. Looking for hopefully an ag or something to bail me out. Nope, don't get it. GG's. Uh, yeah, I mean, even... <laughs> What's crazy is that even here, like, you know, if this was like 45 seconds or something, 719, with three timeouts, it's still a little bit of life. Uh, but obviously here it's not. Yeah, GG's, man, GG's. This is just, I want to show, so this is at pick six, right? Look where, this is at pick six. I throw the ball, and he's back, like, you can see I'm throwing the ball, right? The corner's right here, and my wheel's right here. I'm, I, I. I never think this is a pick six, I'll be honest. I would never think that's a pick six. I mean, look, you can see the decision. I throw the ball, you know, even sooner than that. Let's see where I decide to throw the ball. A sec, I like, this This looks like an open throw. Uh, props to him for having flat zone KO. I believe that's what that is on this dude. And he just makes, I mean, I, I got baited by the CPU. Like, this is six yard, this is six yards of separation. I have Seth Feetley. This is six yards of separation from this guy to this guy. I know I have a bunch of lines on the screen. But this is six yards. Of, you know what I mean? This is six yards. I just got baited by a CPU. Uh, good defensive game plan by him. Honestly, throw me something I really haven't seen before. I was underprepared as hell. Uh, really frustrating to lose like that for sure. Really, really frustrating. It just sucks. Um, I, turned it, I felt like... Um, I, I, what sucks is that I'd beaten Kiv, who was one of the best players in the world. So I'd just beaten arguably the best person I could even possibly play in the tournament. And then you just lose. Lose to uh, uh, the first game I lost. Well, I'm not, I wasn't part of the breakdown, right? But it's on the channel. First game I lost, just I got outplayed. Nothing wrong with that. A good player outplayed me. That game was, he outplayed me. Um, but it was a game I felt like I had the skill level to be able to win. Um, and just couldn't. So pro uh, props to him. He, he did end up, he actually got blown out the next round to J-Wall. Um, but which it sucks. I would like to see him at least make a run if he beat me. Uh, but no, GG's to him, dude. If you're if he's watching this video, if you know who that is, GG's to him. Um, but yeah, boys. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, meaning that you probably enjoyed it. If you did, check out this one right here. You're going to like it even more. Or consider going to the description and check out my website, civil.gg. Learn how I play the game of John Madden football. All right? See you in the next one.